Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel ECE Scholastic. So we have started seeing a series of sessions under control systems. So this is session 2. Already we discussed some basic concepts of control systems in session 1 like what is a control system, why we are going for it, what is a system, what are the types of control system, what are the applications and what is the summary of all the units from unit 1 to unit 5 that we are going to cover in the forecoming sessions. So all these things we discussed in our first tutorial session. So in this session we are going to discuss some basic concepts which also comes under the introduction part that is what is a feed forward system, what is a feedback system and what are the types of feedback. Let's start the session. So first let's see what is a feed forward system. On seeing this diagram you can understand that a feed forward path is a path that connects input and output in the forward direction. Right. Now here comes a question why we are using this feed forward path. Okay. So the answer to this question is if you predict some error is going to disturb the entire performance of the system at the output side, you can do some corrections at the input side with the help of this feed forward path in order to overcome the disturbance. Okay. So we are using this feed forward path to overcome the disturbance that affects the output of the system by doing some external changes in the input of the system. Okay. Now let's see what are the advantages of this feed forward path. So this feed forward path prevents errors or disturbances in the input side before it reaches the output side. Okay. Such that the accuracy and reliability of the system is improved. Energy consumption is also lowered and it can operate at high speeds and the maintenance cost is also low. Now let's see what is the drawback of the system. So it has only one drawback that is if the disturbance occurs at the output side is beyond the limit or if it is out of control then we can't be able to do the alterations to correct the disturbances in the input side. Okay. Let's see this with an example. See let's tell that uh, tomorrow the weather forecast is heavy rain and storm. Okay. So we know that tomorrow is going to be a heavy rain and storm. So in order to prevent any damage or in order to protect ourselves from this uh, rain and storm, the best way is to sit in our home itself. Right. In order to protect ourselves, we can sit in the home itself. So if we sit in home, then we will not be get, uh, get into trouble. Right. So that is called as a feed forward system. Okay. What, then what is the drawback? So if the storm or if the rain is out of control, we can able to control the disaster that is going to happen. Right. So that is the drawback of the feed forward system. Now let's see what is a feedback system. Now compare the feed forward system with this feedback system. Okay. So in the feed forward system, you have a controller. We have a system or plant and we have a feed forward path in the forward direction, right? And in the case of a feedback system, the same pattern, we are having a controller, we have a system and a proportion of the output is taken as a feedback to the input as a error signal, right? So a feedback is nothing but a portion of the output is taken back as a feedback to the input side as a feedback signal or an error signal. Okay. So here comes a question when we require a feedback system. In order to meet the desired specification at the output, we require a feedback system. Okay. Now let's see an example. Oh no, this is not the example we are looking for. We are going to have an example related to this lift concept. Okay. Let's assume that I am in the first floor. Okay, my destination is to reach the fifth floor. Okay, wow. so my output must be the fifth floor and my input is the first floor. Okay, so part of the output that is fifth floor is the output that output is taken to the input. See in this diagram. So fifth floor is my output that output is fed back to the input. So input is first floor, right? So 1 minus 5 is 4. 
which means i am in the first floor i need to go four floors forward to reach my destination fifth floor okay so now you understood what is a feedback system you know now let's discuss the types of the feedback system so the feedback system can be classified into two types one is a positive feedback and one is a negative feedback okay now let's discuss each topic one by one what is a positive feedback okay now see the feedback signal the feedback signal is connected to the positive terminal of the summer correct so as you know feedback signal can also be called as the error signal so let us assume the input signal is r of t the output signal is c of t and the error signal is e of t okay so the error signal is e of t and the input signal is r of t what will be the output of the summer the input signal gets added with the error signal input signal and the error signal gets added together and the output is given into the system as an input okay so a positive feedback is nothing but if the feedback signal or the error signal gets added with the input signal then it is called as a positive feedback signal okay if you are adding the error signal what happens automatically the disturbance will be increased and the output will be distorted right so for this condition for this case we are not using this positive feedback in control systems okay because the noise is getting added to the input signal and we will get a distorted output as the output signal okay this makes the system unstable so uh, you will have a question why then we are using this positive feedback so whenever you need a single block alone to be amplified okay in that cases we are using this positive feedback let's see an example for the positive feedback here i am gossiping about someone to two people right now this gossiping along with some extra ingredients reaches a group of people okay now this group of people will add their own flavor and add some ingredients to the original gossip now this will be the final output of my initial gossiping right now the part of this output is coming back to the source by adding extra ingredients so it is a new output for the input right now the source out input as well as the error input combine together and it will give a very big uh, uh, loud of gossiping right this is a example for positive feedback now you understood that positive feedback is not good for health and it is very injurious to health right now let's see what is a negative feedback so now check this diagram so here a part of the output is fed back to the input which is called as an error signal and the input is r of t okay so here in the summer we are giving a negative sign instead of a positive sign so what happens the output of the summer is r of t minus e of t correct now the error signal is getting reduced or the error is removed from the input signal so that you will get the correct output right because we are removing the error signal okay now you might have understood why we are going for negative feedback in order to get a better stability as well as in order to improve the accuracy of the system we are going for a negative feedback so in contrary to positive feedback we can say that negative feedback is mostly preferred in the control systems because it improves accuracy as well as stability as well as it rejects the signal disturbances okay next we will see the example for negative feedback see here we are considering a sea or a ocean so in the ocean you will be having n number of fishes okay so when a fisherman goes to uh goes for fishing daily in the ocean and his daily target is getting 1 ton fish okay va wow. 1 ton fish so if he goes on continuously fishing uh, this amount of fishes daily what happens obviously the number of fishes in the oceans will be reduced so we are giving a break uh, like some 2 months or uh, some 15 days or some 13 days for breeding correct so after breeding so after Uh, two months or thirty uh, days, again the number of fishes in the ocean will be increased. Thus, the stability of the ocean is maintained. Correct. This is an example for negative feedback.
Let's see what is the summary of today's session. So we have seen what is a feed forward, feedback, types of feedback, why negative feedback is most preferably used and what are the drawbacks of negative feedback, what are the drawbacks of positive feedback, block diagram and components of negative feedback and positive feedback. Now can you tell me what is the drawback of negative feedback and what is the drawback of positive feedback? So we are using negative feedback in control systems because it is giving the stability, right? Stability, accuracy and it rejects noises. But in the case of positive feedback, along with the input signal, the noise is also getting amplified, okay? So in some cases, we are using positive feedback. In such cases, we are not using the negative feedback. So for amplification process, we are unable to use this negative feedback. That is the main drawback. Hope you are clear with today's topics. If you have any queries, please mail me. My mail ID is provided in the description. Thanks for the patience. Have a great day. Thank you.